Debbie Wasserman Schultz and, and the controversy with her IT guy that she kept working after it was proven he overbilled and had relatives that worked at McDonald's on, on the payroll and, uh, and that also had government hard drives smashed into little pieces in his garage. You are absolutely right in your uh, an implication of your question that this this has all been a huge effort on the part of of, of a of powerful liberal left establishment in this country and, and and around the world to divert the attention of the American people from some of these horrendous things. Hillary, when you talk about collusion, how where where's all the stories over and over again about Hillary? Uh, raising tens of millions of dollars, or at least millions and millions of dollars, for the Clinton Foundation and her husband being paid. Oh, uranium one. You're talking right. 145 million dollars, sir. Right. And let me and let me note, Sean. Uh, I'm trying to get this out in the public now, where we can get this Julian Assange thing uh, straightened out, so that people know that it wasn't the Russians that <laughs> that that hacked into this system, and that's not how the, this information was released. But after that. I am going to be calling on uh, on the United States Congress, on my fellow members of Congress, my Republican friends. We need to have a hearing specifically on Hillary and Russia and the tens of millions of dollars ago that went into the, the Uranium the, One. The Clinton, yeah, 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 the Clinton Foundation. Let me, let me ask this question. That yet. Are you convinced, maybe, that this was by design? I mean, based on your conversations, do you think that this false Russian narrative, that there are top American leftist Democrats, what at liberals, that knew what they were doing and that they purposely, you know, manufactured this. Do you believe that? Uh, I think that they took advantage of, of, of what was a negative and turned it into a positive. The negative was they got all this information they were trying to keep secret from the American people. It was disclosed through this WikiLeaks uh, establishment with, uh, that, that, that serves as a vehicle to get information to, to the people. And once the information was, uh, and it and made them look really bad and, and helped lose the election. So they created a red herring and they created the big bad Russian wolf, if you will, yeah. and all for uh, the purpose of distracting. And then the narrative got bigger and bigger with their helps in the compliant media. Well, once the information was out, they tried to turn uh, a lemon into lemonade by saying, oh, we're going to be hurt by this information, but let's let's take a look. We could say that this was collusion uh, on the part of the Russians, and we'll blame it on the Russians. So what they did is repeat over and over and over and over again an attempt to divert the American people from any look. How certain are you, negative. how certain are you everything you're telling me and my audience right now is true? Uh, 99%. How certain are you that laws were broken? Um, well, I'm not certain about that. Uh, well, I'm certain. No, I'm not certain about that. I'm not certain what well, you, legal status. Uh, we we certainly know that you can't you, you can't mishandle classified information and destroy classified, top secret, and special access program information. We know that you can't smash government hard drives. We know well, that something's under subpoena and you don't hand it over. That's called obstruction, isn't it? Yeah, I have not analyzed that part of this of this scenario yet. And uh, uh, that I, I think that you will find... Congressman, I, I just got to let you go, but I'm going to have you back. Would you come back with us later this week on radio and TV? Uh, anytime you want me. All right, thank you, Dana Rohrbach. I want to take the president speaking on this epic flood. The president